Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dana, I am the HGIC here at Divine Goddess Soaps. And today we are making emoji bath bombs. Uh, this is the sunglasses emoji bath bomb mold from Chunk of Dust. This is their three piece mold. I was lucky enough to be gifted these molds from Heather, uh, one of the owners there at Chunk of Dust. And she sent me both versions. She sent me the three piece molds and the hybrid mold. So I will be showing those to you in this video. I'll be demonstrating both of those. The embeds that I'm using here are a mix of red 28 dye and yellow six dye. And then the bath bomb mix itself has been colored with yellow five lake and scented in rose, uh, rose quartz from Brambleberry. giving that a good tap there with my trusty whacking spoon. And then that card that I'm unmolding on there is just a cardboard coaster that I have shrink wrapped. Now with this mold, I did find that you want to make sure that you tap it lightly and only tap it until the bomb itself releases. The sunglasses are a little temperamental, uh, so you just want to make sure that you don't go crazy tapping it. And that's what it looks like. So cute. And then I'm just going to go ahead and make a few more with the three piece mold here. And you'll see there that I just tapped part of the sunglasses down. You can do that while the molds are still wet. If it's just slightly mismolded, you can just kind of tap it down a little bit and it'll fix it. And then this is the hybrid mold. It's just a one piece mold. Now with these molds, they are a little different. Um, you cannot adjust the amount of a mix that goes in the mold. You have to fill it up to the top uh, and then pack it in where it's a three piece mold. You know, if you wanted to do a five ounce bath bomb or like a three and a half ounce bath bomb, it's not an issue. But with the hybrid mold, since they are only one piece, you do have to fill them up to the top. Now you'll see that I overfilled it, packed it in with my hand, overfilled it again, and then packed it in with my hand. And then I'm just going around the edges here. You may be tempted to really pack these in and really put some elbow grease into it, but you really don't need it. As long as you're, you're using a good bath bomb formula and you've got the proper amount of binder in there, they don't need a lot of pressure as far as packing them goes. And then I just give them a good whack before I unmold them. So it's kind of right side up here and then I'm just giving it a good whack all around. And then I just put it down on my unmolding card there and I'm giving it another good few taps. Now again with this one, you want to make sure that you don't over tap it and stop tapping it when you feel the mold release from the bath bomb because uh, you can mess up the sunglasses. I found as my mix started to dry out a little bit, I had to tap even less than I did with this one, uh, just because the mix is a little bit more temperamental at that point. And then the little scraper tool that I'm using is a, un I believe she calls it an unmolding tool, but that is from Inedible Soaps.
and then I'm just gonna let those dry a couple of days and we will be back to paint them. Okay, so this is the hybrid mold that I'm gonna start with here. I'm gonna go in and lightly mist the entire bath bomb with the Rapunzel Mica from Nurture Soap. That did two things. Uh, one, it primed the bath bomb because I did not mist this beforehand with rubbing alcohol because I knew I was gonna airbrush the entire bomb. And then also I'm gonna go in with a darker color to create a shadow. And I didn't want the bath bomb to look like it got a little heavy handed with the bronzer, if you know what I'm saying. So the whole thing is sparkly versus just where the, the quote unquote bronzer would be. And the bronzer color that I'm using is a mix of Mocha, Copper Penny, and Rapunzel Mica from Nurture. And then of course the 91% rubbing alcohol. And this black is the Black Pearl from Nurture. Now when you're painting bath bombs that have relatively small details like this, you want to make sure that you're rubbing the excess uh, paint off of your brush. So you'll see every time I dip my brush in my little container there, I give it a mix because the mica will settle relatively quickly. And then I spin the brush along the side of my cup that makes sure that it's not overly saturated. Remember that you can always add more paint to the bath bomb, but you, it's very hard to take it away. <laughs> Painting bath bombs is something that I do thoroughly enjoy. I just turn on music or an audio book or, you know, some sort of TV show or whatever and I just zone out and I paint. This bath bomb took me probably about 15 minutes to paint. This is two times the normal speed that I would be painting it. So just, you know, be aware that it is relatively time consuming, but if this is something that you enjoy, it can be very fulfilling. And this color is the Neutral Gray from Nurture Soap. This I'm going in just to create a highlight in the sunglasses. Making sure I get around the rim, the internal rim of the sunglasses there. And then I'm going back in with that black pearl mica to fill in the rest of the sunglasses. Now you'll notice that I started at the bottom and worked my way up. That way I can ensure that none of the black bled into the gray. So we have that line of demarcation there. And again, just making sure I get the internal rim. And I almost had a major accident with my pinky finger there. I almost knocked over my entire thing of paint. That would have been terrible. And then this color is Mocha from Nurture Soap. And I'm just going in with the mouth. Now before I did these, this bath bomb set, I never really realized that, I guess, newer emojis, their facial features are not black. I always assumed that they were black. They're actually brown. And these cups that I'm using are just condiment cups. So after I get done, I just close the lid and put them in my drawer. Um, that way I can write the name of the mica that's in the cup on top of the lid. And then the rubbing alcohol doesn't evaporate as fast, so I don't go through as much. 
And again, that's just a mix with the 91% rubbing alcohol. And this bath bomb is the 3D printed version of the same bath bomb. And I'm gonna go in and paint it the exact same way. The only difference between the two bombs is this one you'll see it has the Saturn ring along the outside whereas the other one was just a, a dome almost like a gumdrop shape where this one is more of like a pill shape. And if you haven't already please go ahead and pamper that like button, show it a little love. I do definitely appreciate it and it helps you know the YouTube algorithm show me to more people who may be interested in my videos. These bath bombs are available now at divinegoddesssoaps.com and if you're interested in getting the bath bomb mold itself, check the description. I do have a discount code uh, as well as an affiliate link to over to Chunk and Chunk of Dust. I always get tongue tied on their name, Chunk of Dust. <laughs> they were so nice to provide me with that discount code and of course I am affiliate with them. And remember to take time to pamper your inner goddess today. Self-care is so important for every her, him, and they. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.